Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. So I hope your day is going well. Mine is going well as well. Okay. So today is 15th of February and it's actually International Childhood Cancer Day. Okay. Yeah. So this is, I, th I think this video is very important because it's, um, it's a reminder to promptly take children to the hospital anytime they notice um, a change in physiology of the child as you notice certain symptoms certain signs and symptoms in your child it's very important you take your child to the hospital that is because one of the major cause of deaths among children in cancer among children with cancer is late diagnosis yes so talking about cancer what then is childhood cancer okay so it's it's a cancer that occurs in children and according to who basically it occurs in children and then adult adolescents as well okay yes so you may then ask yourself how do we know how common it is here in ghana according to an information who published in 2021 yes about 400,000 cancer is diagnosed worldwide among these 400,000 children that have been diagnosed with cancer, 30%, just 30% survive, okay, in the low and middle income countries. Meanwhile, in the high income countries, about 80% of these children can survive. That is how serious this condition is, okay. According to Kolebu, the most common kind of cancers that is diagnosed yes among this 400,000 includes the leukemias the lymphomas and then brain cancers okay with acute lymphoblastic leukemia being the most common childhood cancer diagnosed as at 2021 okay so then talking about the cancer how, the, how does it result? So to know how this results, you could watch the other videos. I, I mentioned this in, in my video on cervical cancer. You could go watch it so you know how the cancer develops. But then, how then do we prevent it? We could manage the risk factors that cause children to have this cancer. And one of the risk factors includes certain infections. Infections like HIV, Hepatitis B, Epstein-Barr virus infection um hpv infection even malaria okay so who recommends that to prevent cancer as a way of trying to prevent the cancer we detect these conditions early and treat them okay yes and then another risk factor yes so at the mention of risk factor let me then mention that in about 10% of children with cancer, it's been noted that these individuals have a genetic predisposition to their cancer. Okay. So, what hope is there for a child that has been diagnosed with cancer? The cancer can be treated, yes, with generic medicine. It's expensive, very, very expensive. Surgery, radiotherapy could be used to treat the cancer. Early on, I mentioned that most children lose their lives because of a number of risks. Okay, so this includes um, inability to access health care. Okay, so let me say this child is living in a, rural, a very typical rural area and transportation to Kalebu is a problem. This child won't be able to come to Kalebu to be treated for the cancer. So that is one. And even if this child is able to come to Kualibu for treatment, how many of them will be able to afford the treatment? Okay, so that's like an obstacle to the treatment. And then, even if this child is able to afford the treatment, it is, this treatment comes with its own toxic effect. Some children die from the side effects of cancer treatment, although a number of them survive. And then some also die from relapse of the disease, okay? And some, 
some also die from diagnostic issues in the sense that they either are misdiagnosed in the condition you know you need to be specific when diagnosing the cancer if it is acute lymphoblastic leukemia you should be able to know that it is acute lymphoblastic leukemia if you go diagnose it at another condition you are going to treat that condition meanwhile the disease in this person isn't what you are treating okay and this child could lose their life so it's very very important that you are able to diagnose it correctly okay so the what role can you play in trying to improve the outcome of cancer in children it is taking your child to the hospital promptly quickly so that infections like what i've mentioned hiv hepatitis b epstein barr virus infection malaria even malaria okay i'm not saying malaria when you get malaria you're automatically getting hiv i'm trying to mean it's been recorded that it predisposes the child to cancer okay so we need to treat the illness of the children early to reduce their risk for cancer and then the main goal of treatment of cancer in children is to prevent them from getting cancers in their adult life okay so then let's help our children let's take care of our children do some love by coming to visit the, the pediatric oncology unit here at Kualibu to donate some items to these children or even just say hi just say hi to these children put a smile on their faces and i think you will go a very long way to encourage their parents and to help their parents thank you and enjoy your day bye